Greetings, it is I, the Great One himself, founder of the Cynical Libertarian Society, C-Y-N-L-I-B-S-O-C.com, on the interwebs, 10 fucking years of podcasting. I'm right, you're wrong, if it hurts your feelings, go fuck yourself. Suck a dick, I hate feminist, I hate statist, uh, what else is important here? Send me email, god, at C-Y-N-L-I-B-S-O-C.com, Twitterverse, C-Y-N-L-I-B-S-O-C. Yeah, CLSology for your bitch asses. So I'm standing here getting shit done, just got back from fucking amazing day of, well, morning, not day, morning of trail running. Now, I was going to do an anarchy moment. I'm still going to do one. I'm going to talk about, this because this is the funny part, I'm going to talk about inner peace and serenity and reflection and all this other stuff. But meanwhile, until then, talking about inner peace and serenity, I want to fucking rant. Because I'm standing here, and this just goes through my brain. I just want to get this shit out. Because most of you out there, get your news from Facebook and all this other shit. You know what's going on in pop culture. I don't, because I don't give a fuck. I just... How many times have you heard me come on this cast? Oh, I got on the internet today and I saw some shit. This is why I don't fucking do the news. This is why I don't give a shit. So I have to come to despise Facebook, because it's just people repeating. Anyway, that's anything. here's the point. You out there already know this. I just found this out recently when I was at lunch with a friend of mine and he mentioned that it had come up. And I think I actually mentioned this in a previous cast in passing. The, who is it, North Carolina, Virginia? Somebody, somebody they're talking about taking the flag, the Confederate flag off of their flag. And all of you, look, look, look. Here we go. Here's, here's everything there is to know about the Confederate flag debate. Okay, number one, I am from the South. The South is a different culture from other places in the United States. The best thing that can happen to this nation state we call the United States, which is actually an empire, the sooner the fucking economic decline happens, the sooner the federal government financially collapses, that's the sooner the states can start going their own way. And if we are lucky, this will happen in my, well, we, fuck you. If I'm lucky, because I don't give a shit about you, you don't give a shit about me, you want the government to kill me, you've taken my money away from me in the form of taxes, you have laws about my behavior, fuck you. The best thing that can happen in my lifetime is if the decline hurries up, gets here, so that the United States breaks apart. And then the South can go their own fucking way. And then all of you that hate people from the South because they're all racist, gee, you sure hate us so much because we're all racist, but I sure notice you were really fucking desperate for us to not leave the country. What is it, you fuck? I just thought of this. What is it, you fucking nasty, filthy, disgusting, cunt statist always say to people who complain about statism and the government, if you don't like it, leave. Well... We tried to fucking leave. You wouldn't let us, would you? Because you just couldn't fucking stand the idea of other people doing what the fuck they wanted to do. All right, so stop bitching about the South. We tried to, we're, I will leave again. Remember when everybody, well, Texas is talking about succession and all this other, and everybody got their panties in a wad and shit. If you all hate Texas so much, why don't you let us fucking leave? I would, if Texas left, I would move back in a heartbeat. So shut the fuck up, okay? Now, let me get to actual things. That was just right off the top of my head that I thought about that. Let me get to actual things that I've spent a slight amount of time thinking about in advance. Number one. So this is a big deal. The Confederate flag on the state flag of whatever state this is. This is a big deal. Nothing, when you look at our society to get today and the decay, and I'm going to talk about this more a little bit. Something occurred to me just this morning. Look at our society. Look at, and I, I talk about OkCupid. Okay Go on OkCupid okay and again, I don't read profiles of men, so I have no idea what's there, but I read the profiles of women. You know what I see on women's profiles? Their activities are watching Netflix and being a foodie. 
which when I was more naive, I thought being a foodie meant that you cooked your own meals and you knew how to use spices and stuff like that, which I made fun of because, as I've said before, an animal that can't prepare its own food is extinct or should be. I have now found out that when people say they are foodies, that doesn't actually necessarily mean they cook their own food. It just means they eat food. We are in a country where people's intellectual and, what's the, what's the word I'm looking for? Your recreational activities are eating food and watching television. This is what people do. This is why we don't have a moon base. This is why we don't have a space station. The International Space Station is not a space station, okay? It's a couple of tin cans with some people inside it. Watch 2001 A Space Odyssey. That's a fucking space station. This is why we don't have flying cars and jetpacks. Because what people do today with their time and their energy is watch television and eat food. Which, of course, is fine from the perspective of the state because you want people who are lazy and stupid and not a threat to the establishment. People in the United States today have it so fucking cushy. You wake up in the morning, you got running water, you got electricity, you got food, Food, you got clothing, you got Obamacare, you got your free birth control, you got your food stamps, you got your WIC, you got your Medicare, your Medicaid. You, you just, you, you're not, you are wanting for nothing. Even the homeless people in this country have it good compared to other places on the planet Earth where 14-year-old girls are getting raped and then stoned to death because they're not virgins anymore. Where, in other places in the world, if you're going to a wedding, you have to be worried that a drone might come out of the sky and fucking kill you and everybody in your wedding party. People in the United States have it so fucking good that what they do with their time, instead of inventing, creating, thinking, is they watch TV and they eat and they engage in social justice warrioring. That they get excited and worked up over a fucking piece of cloth. That the idea that the Confederate flag on the state flag is this big of a deal that so many people are taking time out of their lives to comment on this and to care about this. Of all the things there are in the world to care about, this is important. This is so important. Point number two. If we're getting rid of racist, I shouldn't say racist, if we're getting rid of, well, we could say racist, we'll, we'll do racist if we're going to call it racist, or if we're going to get rid of flags of every nation that has had slavery, oh, God, fucking Christ. Every slave that was brought to the United States was brought here under the flag of the United States. The Confederacy... After it was the con before the Confederacy existed, nobody from the Confederacy was doing anything under the Confederate flag. All those slave ships going back and forth, they all had American flags on them. The Confederacy did not import any slaves. They were busy fighting a war, you know, because we're all racist from the South, but you didn't want us to leave your fucking country because we make a great tax base and we grew a lot of food.
Saw a great picture on Twitter the other day, the Ku Klux Klan standing outside the capital of the United States with American flags. England had slavery. In England, you could get drunk in a bar and wake up conscripted into the Navy. Muslim countries took white people for slaves. There's a great book about slavery in Muslim countries. I know I talked about it on this cast many years ago. I cannot for the life of me remember the name of it. It's a great book. And as someone pointed out, the reason we have so many descendants of slaves here in the United States is because unlike many other countries, like the Muslim countries, we didn't kill the fucking slaves. Here in the, here in the United States, even the evil confederacy, in this, because of course we know there were never any slaves in the northern countries. The northern countries. The northern states, right? There was never slavery up there. The northern states never had laws that said if a runaway slave is caught, you have to return the slave to its master. No, of course not. No. You, of course, you think that's true because you don't know anything about history. You've got this sanitized version of history that history happened and then one day the Confederacy existed and racism was created in the Confederacy, and suddenly all these black slaves appeared there, and then the wonderful white knights from the North came down and saved the black people from the evil Confederacy and shipped a bunch of them up to Detroit so they could all starve to death in the fucking ghettos of a fucking bankrupt city. Yes, that's how it happened. Somebody pointed out I read this somewhere, I can't remember who said it, so I can't give credit, that we have so many descendants of slaves in the United States because unlike other countries, we didn't kill our slaves. We kept them alive. Being evil, capitalist, property-owning pigs, you know, patriarchy and shit, the evil, patriarchal white men in the South recognized that their slaves were an economic resource and you don't kill off your economic resources if, if I mean if anything you have slaves I mean again this is called logic and honesty I don't give a fuck how racist you think I am here's a goddamn fact okay if I'm going to have slaves to pick a cotton on my plantation if I kill the slaves they don't pick any fucking cotton this is not rocket science so I want to keep them alive unlike in the Muslim countries they're slaves. They pretty much fuck. If you read this book, the one I can't remember the name of, it might be on the reading list. Go look on the reading list. They just fucking slaughtered the fuck out of their slaves. They didn't give a shit how long they lived and died. They just went and got more. And that's, of course, here, economics. Ooh, this is going to make me really racist, right? When you can just get more slaves for free, you don't think they're valuable. But when you have to pay money for your slaves, you're not going to buy slaves and then just randomly kill them for the fun of it. It's an investment. Boy, God, I am so fucking racist. Egypt never had slavery. All that shit, you know, the Jews about how they were enslaved in Egypt. Nah, they're not making that up. All right, so no, every fucking country out there at some point or another in its boundaries that form the legal fiction known of that country known as that country, slavery has fucking existed there. There is no pure place on earth other than, of course, the northern states here in the United States where purity just fucking rains from the sky, where slavery has never existed. Third point. The Confederate flag is not the fucking Confederate flag, you goddamn ignorant cocksuckers. That is the Confederate flag battle banner. The Confederate flag does not fucking look like what you think the Confederate flag looks like. Again, you don't know this because you don't know anything about history. You're just a bunch of fucking spoiled fucking social justice warrior pieces of shit <clears throat> who have no real problems in your life. Your hobbies are watching Netflix, eating food, and trying to find some kind of fucking cause that you can like on Facebook so you don't have to actually do anything in the real world to make the world a better place because you're a goddamn fucking piece of shit and you know it. I know it. You know it. <clears throat> 